All right, the moment that I have been waiting for and hopefully you have been waiting for, we've got two drivers. We got the TR2460, the TR2440, and we've also got a tight shirt on, which means we're hitting ball. Let's do it. The Hanma TR2440 and 460 driver. What's the difference? Well, other than size, not a whole lot. The 440 is obviously gonna be a little bit smaller than the 460 and a little bit deeper in the face, a little bit smaller down at the ball. Overall, not a whole lot of difference here. You have the same amount of adjustability. You've got the three weight ports and also the adjustable hosel that doesn't rotate the shaft, which is very cool. But yeah, in theory, the 440 should be designed for the better player, the guy who can hit it out of the center a little bit more than the guy who's looking at the 460. But I have been testing the 460 mostly and really haven't even hit the 440. I've even had a chance to take it on the course and you can see that right now. What's going on everybody? It is Willie Long and we're here on a windy day in Arizona, but we got the Hama TR2460 driver par five and that means we're gonna swing hard we're gonna send it this thing's been hitting bombs all day second to the last hole we're gonna cut the corner let's do it swing hard aim left dog leg left downwind perfect been able to flight this driver because it's down at seven and a half degrees aloft but i'm sure you'll hear about it a lot more back in the garage. We'll see you there. And hitting it on the course. I think he's done hitting it. Yes, so I have been using the 460 out on the course. I've played multiple rounds with it on multiple different golf courses. And so far I've been getting along with it very well. As I said, eight and a half degrees, turned down to seven and a half with the Ventus 7X. But today we're gonna test it with the 440. And I'm just curious to see what the differences are gonna be. Will I be losing forgiveness going to the 440? Will it spin less? All these questions we get to answer today. One little problem we do have is the 440. I have it in a nine and a half. So I will have to go to a nine and a half head for the 460 as well, just to make sure the comparison stays fair. But I would prefer to have these in a little less loft. But without further ado, we got the tight shirt on. So let's hit a bomb or two. 460 is up first, let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this test is five shots with each driver on the range, talk about the differences, normal golf course swings, and then we'll amp it up to some bombs on the virtual course. But first, let's get these out of the way, these boring swings. I don't think we're gonna get to the green at 374, and I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna try to make a very disciplined swing, Willie, you can do it. Little pull cut, that's the normal shot I hit. Right there. About 320 in the air, we'll take that. 183 for the ball speed, 2300, launched at nine and a half. Not bad. Another decent one. Struck pretty nice. We're peeking at the green. We might be able to take a look on there. And that was not a good swing. Not a good swing right there. A little hooky. So that's one thing that I have been finding with this driver is some of these high in the head strikes and toe strikes do not spin, which rightfully so, it's an awful strike. That's better. That's better. That'll do. Hit that one a little thin as well. But I won't be picky. Let's hit the 440. All right, the 440 is ready to go. It's in the exact same settings as the 460. And it is much more appealing down at the ball to my eye, but um, let's see if it's appealing to the golf ball. Let's see how it does. I 
felt pretty good. It feels a little bit more metally than the 460, like less carbony, I would say. Um, hit that toe and high, but let's see if we can do a little better. Oh, it is a little bit harder to hit. It definitely is. That was not a very good swing, but I can already tell it's a little less stable and yeah, wow, backspin spun up on that one, but let's see if we can do a little better. Yeah, I'm not quite hitting this 440 as well as the 460 yet, but not awful. Finally hit a good one. I had to delete a few of those there just because I was having a hard time hitting the dang thing online. And for the sake of the test, I wanted them all to be similar strikes. So far, the 440 has been a lot harder to hit well. A lot harder to hit well. Um, it looks prettier though. <laughs> Other than that, it's been a little bit of a harder driver to deal with. Man. I also realize this is part of my issue not hitting it well, but it's hard to deny the difference between these two. The 440 is just more punishing than the 460. It's just the way it is. I mean, if you think you can hit this thing well, well then give it a try. But for me, the 460 is where I belong. Let's take a look at the numbers though. Okay, so if we take a look at the numbers, we see a big ball speed drop in the 440. Now, part of that is due to me not being able to strike it as well as I would want to. But the main thing I was looking to test was to see the backspin difference. And given this isn't the best test in the world, I probably should hit 20 balls each and probably hit the 440 better than I did. But the 440 spun more than the 460. And if we go to club data, we see that head speed, club head speed was actually identical. And we see that the strike was different. The 440, I did hit worse. But the thing about that is I hit the 440 higher in the head than the 460, which would make you think that it would spin less. So the 440 is not necessarily a spin killer. It's just a smaller head. And I think just it's a little less forgiving, but if you're someone that cares about looks over performance, which I don't really recommend, I would go with a 440. But for everybody else, 460 it is. And for me, 460 it is. And with that being said, let's go to the virtual course and hit some real bombs. Let's go. I got an energy drink. I'm ready to do it. It's like 9 p.m. I'm doing this for you guys. All right, I've got the beautiful 18th hole at Pebble Beach behind me, and I've got the TR2460. I got the eight and a half head on now. Turned down to seven and a half. Ball's teed high. Let's let it fly. Let's see if we can get this ball speed up to 190. Maybe even get one out there, 360, 370. Let's see. Come on, we want bombs, brother. That is a quack hook to get us started. Go! Wet. Oh, but there's the ball speed, brother. 191 on the first ball. Went a little left. Amp it up a little more. That one could be good. That one could be tasty. Go! Oh, come on. Come on. All right, 371. 371, a little slower, but less spin. Oh yeah. Oh, it's hit well, but open. Shoot. 133 on the club head there. Not bad, not bad. I went at that one really hard and did not find the face at all. Let's see if I can get one to turn over. Um, if I was left-handed, that's turning over. Oh, come back. That'll work. A little too spinny. 
Little too spinny. My hands are getting sweaty. That's why I'm hitting it so bad. It's the only reason. I'm starting to slow down. Let's ride! Woo! Now my hands are sweaty and wet. Who cares? This driver might go through the screen. Oh, don't hook. And that one is landing in the Pacific. Wet. I did all that and got slower. Son of a gun. Deep fly ball to center field. We don't know if Griffey's gonna get it. Gone, baseball. That was really short. 159 ball speed. I'm pretty sure that's Berkshire's club head speed, so. Not very good. I'm just wailing on it now. And it is not going where I want it to. Big hop. <sighs> Let's keep going. I need a good song. I need a pump up song or something for this. Oops, wet. And we're getting slower as we go. Well, that was hit hard. And right. This is not going well. You're supposed to be willy long, not willy short and crooked. Come on! Strike is awful. 134 ain't bad. Don't cut. Okay, it's cut. Stay in the fairway. Stats. Come on. Oh, I thought it was coming back. Shoot, that's going in the houses. Provisional will be a Slazenger 7. Oh, he's trying to cut the corner. Go! <laughs> Go! Nope. Wet. Still not getting any quicker with all this effort. Let's try a slower swing. Maybe that'll go faster. I don't think that's any faster. All right, let's get back to swinging hard. Fairways are boring. Can't even tee it up properly, I'm so caffeinated. 98 club at speed. Come get me, MB Park. Wet. What is that ball flight? Looks like half a McDonald's logo. Oh. Oh. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Go. 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 That's better. All right, I should probably stop right there, but we're gonna hit some more. I need another energy drink. That's dead straight too. What a fluke. Shot number 20, finally got one. Let's try that again. <sighs> Kyle Berkshire, Kyle Berkshire. Kyle freaking Berkshire, brother. Kyle Berkshire hits an eight iron that far. But oh well. All right, last one. It's for all the marbles. All of them. All right, hold on. That's about all I can do. Let's go. Hits it thin, thin to win. Well, at least we hit the fairway. All right, that was fun. Got one out there over 370. Couple of them. Kind of sweating, kind of tired. But that was fun. Good news is, we're gonna be putting a different shaft in this head for the next video. And it's pink. Hint, hint, Autoflex, Korea, Fred Couples, Adam Scott, Lou Eustazen, Willie Long. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>